Welcome Pisces. We're going to be finding out from Spirit what they would like you to know using postcards from Spirit, Grace cards, and I'll show you a Zen Tarot. Okay, Pisces, let's get a postcard for you. One postcard for Pisces, please. Spirit, what would you like Pisces to know? Or what is it that Pisces needs guidance with right now? Thank you. Here we go. Pisces. Dearest you, we here on the other side have one important thing to declare. Love is the answer to literally everything. We don't necessarily mean romantic or erotic love, although they are wonderful, but something above and beyond that. Everything alive in the world was first created by love. Spirit sends love to animate life and birth it into existence. Love is without conditions and it is based in reverence and a fierce and joyful respect for life. Love thrives when you focus on it, and we want you to turn away from anything that causes it to wane. Love is when you no longer see yourself as other, separate from, better or less than, etc. When you act as love, you give permission to the world to thrive and grow as it will. Can you let go of what is not love and ask, what would love do? Love is waiting for you, always and forever. We just adore you over here. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, three cards for Pisces. I'm kind of like, what, what can even be added to that, right? But this is something that, you know, takes time and it takes work. It's, you know, it really is coming out of the head, right? And into the heart, first and foremost. Two more cards for Pisces, please, in regards to this postcard. Thank you. Okay, wow, Pisces, this is such an interesting read. Alrighty, we have Invoke, Invoke, we have Peace, and Shine. Oh, so like, wow, okay, Pisces, this is Invoke. Ask for a blessing. There is an endless supply of divine support awaiting your request. Yes, 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 you have to ask in order to receive it. Nothing can be done until you ask, right? Free will is at play here, okay? If you need to ask for assistance with this postcard in acting from a place of love, coming from a place of love in everything that you do, in everything that you think, in everything that you believe, ask for assistance because it is a big thing. It really is, especially if it's not something you're used to doing and we may think that that's where we come from all of the time but be aware Pisces this is an opportunity for growth for you be aware of the areas you're not okay because that's where you're going to grow rather than looking at the areas you do be aware of the areas you're not when things pop up Pisces that you can feel that love isn't there Feel as though it's really important for you not to go oh no 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 I can't think that or I can't be like that because that's not from a place of love what's important there is to look at the feelings that are there because those are what need to be addressed okay so rather than pushing that on the back burner and not addressing what is coming up for you Look at it, look at it, look at it with love, yeah? But look at it honestly and really examine it and let it be there. Give it space, yeah? Rebirth, 
this, this will allow, look at this, look at the music that has to be played here. It comes through the stormy clouds. It comes through the roaring lion and up. This is where love breaks through, right? It breaks through. Yeah. Okay, and when it does, you can celebrate that, right? This is love breaking through here. It's like dancing in the rain. Jumping in the puddles. Having that joyous fun, right? Letting the music with a new play. Bringing that up. This is very interesting here, very interesting because I feel like there's some sort of separation for you. There's, there's a disconnect, I would say, somehow. And only you will know how that is. There's a disconnect. And it could even be from this rebirth because in order to get to this rebirth, there is pain. There are things that you have been through which have caused a bit of a dis disconnect and there will be some things in your life that you can't look at with love. And those are the things that need addressing because you can look at everything else and go, oh yeah, I'll look at this, I'll look at that because that's easy for me to look at from a place of love. It's the things that you can't look at from a place of love that need addressing here. Yeah? And it doesn't mean that you automatically just start going, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that. No, you start from the place that you're at and you work through those emotions and those feelings that aren't about love. And you work also through the judgment that you have upon yourself of not coming from a place of love to begin with, of not getting there, of being judgmental about it. We're all judgmental. Even when we're thinking something nice about someone, it's still a judgment. We're judgmental beings, yeah? But this is the way to clear the pollution that comes from your mind, okay? Because this is going to help you along your journey. It's not an easy journey, yeah? It's sort of like, this is the, this is the love. This is the place of love, where everything comes from this place, right? And there's this person here. I don't know if you can see it or not, this person here. It's got a way to go on that journey. And I feel like this is you. You know, there's certain things in your life that you come from, from this place. And there's things that, it's, it's almost like as you travel the road, you can't actually get past the next part until those things have been cleared. So it's a progressional journey, right? One that requires work and honesty, honesty with yourself, okay? Peace. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness. Yeah, coming in to the silence, right? Doing things, I suppose it's sort of like doing things consciously and being aware of our every move. Why am I doing this? What am I feeling when I'm doing it? What is it bringing me? Is it bringing me joy? And I am I doing it from a place of love? Very, very conscious living here. Okay, so what have we got here? This looks super interesting. What's this card? Wow. Okay. Okay. See, here I feel like Pisces, this is you holding yourself back. Keeping yourself behind a wall, behind a wall that is not um, not allowing you to step into your true power of that master that you can be. I have a feeling that for some of you, you're afraid of that. For others of you, you don't believe you are that. Right? But either way, and I feel as though this is, you know, what the postcard is talking about here of coming from this place of love by not doing that or, sorry, correction, by not doing the work that allows you to come from this place of love. You're doing 
yourself a disfavor because there are a whole lot of like it's like you're this shiny beautiful gem that has been buried and the only one that is burying it is yourself and it's time to rise up and shine it's time for this rebirth here yeah if it will come out it's time for that to actually begin at least to take place doesn't mean that tomorrow you have to step out and da da here I am right it's really about doing the work right traveling that journey okay lifting up rising up seeing things from a different perspective seeing how it is that you can actually be that ray of light in the world looking at all those things looking at the things that bring you joy that ignite that passion within you that set your soul on fire because those are the sorts of things that are going to allow you to step into the power of you okay look at this here the lovers comes up when we're talking about love right and this is you reflecting this to yourself because you can't bring this into the world unless it's being reflected back to you so the person you start with is you mirror work standing in the mirror right telling yourself i love you right and meaning it it's not just words actually meaning it looking into your eyes looking into your soul loving you exactly as you are no changes nothing that you need to do just right now oh, trust and we have new vision here right this is this is about you looking at what it is that you want to create in your life what do you want that to look like who who do you want to be yeah because there's a single person in this card here rising up from the depths of despair and completely owning their position in this world right walking planet earth with conviction allowing themselves to break out and fly knowing that they have the ability to do that yes and as you do as you do pisces right shine step into the light you are a gift to the world exactly you are a gift to the world it's time to rise up look at this person standing here levitating because they are vi vibrating at such a level that they don't they don't need to actually be on the ground right for some of you though i do want to say that you may need to ground yourself um to center yourself and get into alignment but tell me more about shine here Okay. Wow. Pisces. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, see, I feel like some of you have trust issues. You're not, um, if, sorry, let me start again with that. It's a very difficult for you to allow the expansion of yourself to take place because when you have shone your light before or gone to you've been squashed and i want to tell you pisces that that can happen it's not that it can't because people can't handle it when you're walking in your truth there are people who can't handle it okay but the master does not hide 
the master knows because there is the balance here yeah and and as you go along you'll become accustomed to getting the balance of your light because there's light and there's dark it is the case that's the way to have the balance it can't all be light right and this is what the master is aware of which is why you see here the dark and the light but the master stands in the light knowing that the darkness exists but remains in the light anyway and knows that the light will be shed upon the darkness eventually it just takes patience yeah and it takes patience of yourself right good things take time as they say um yeah and we have this here this is you living consciously living this new truth living the truth of who you are and standing in that power okay getting away from this mind stuff here that does not serve you right that pollutes your world okay stepping in to the truth because this is not truth this is this gobbledygook inside of you this is your ego trying to deter you from being the master that you are this is other people also putting thoughts into your mind telling you you can't this and you can't be that you can't do this right this is your own self holding you back yeah existence see here's here's the truth right when you look at the master of who you are you are the universe and the universe is you okay there is no separation the only separation is visually okay talking about this here this disconnect this is where the connection needs to come in the connection to the true you to the master of who you are to your existence knowing that that is crucial to the workings of the entire universe you're not just a speck here pisces you're an important part in the whole so own it and walk like you mean it okay let's readdress this postcard dearest you we here on the other side have one important thing to declare love is the answer to literally everything we don't necessarily mean romantic or erotic love although they are wonderful but something above and beyond that everything alive in the world was cre first created by love spirit sends love to animate life and birth it into existence love is without conditions and it is based in reverence and a fierce and joyful respect for life. Love thrives when you focus on it, and we want you to turn away from anything that causes it to wane. Love is when you no longer see yourself as other, separate from, better or less than, etc. When you act as love, you give permission to the world to thrive and grow as it will. Can you let go? of what is not love and ask what would love do love is waiting for you always and forever we just adore you over here awesome okay pisces i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful loving self see you bye bye